subscribe in classes by Jesus. Good morning. I welcome you all. I am Bashir Ramad, Department of English. My slideshow presentation is on feminism as literary movement, its different phases and waves. Let me first define in short definition of feminism. The term feminism can be used to describe a political, cultural or economic movement aimed at establishing equal rights and legal protection for women. The concept of feminism in general has been concerned to an analysis of the trend of male dominance in the society, the general attitude of males towards females, the exploitation and discrimination faced by females, the need for and way for improving the condition of women. Women's rights movement and the rise of feminism as a literary movement is an idea originated as a reaction against male dominance and unjust subjugation of women. The unjust condition of women prevailing throughout the world and subsequent right movements paved the way for the rise of feminism as a literary movement. It fervently advocates social, political, legal and economic rights for women equal to those of men. Women feminist writers' efforts to seek their independence, self-identity, started a revolution all over the world. The leading feminist writers are as Mary Wollstonecraft, John Stat Mill, and Lynn Scholter. Feminist's approach was first inaugurated with the publication of Mary Wollstonecraft's A Vindication of Rights for Women, which was published in 1792 who demanded equal opportunities for women in the field of education, economics, and politics. Mary Wollstonecraft's political philosophy and feminist were shaped by her beliefs about human nature. Another feminist, John Stuart, the strong, he was a strong supporter of women's liberation, showed serious concern about women's oppression in his book, The Subjugation of Women. In 1869, he realized the need for improved education for women and criticized women oppression as a domestic slavery and domestic violence. Another feminist, Ellen Shorter. Let me give a little bio data of Ellen Shorter. She was born in January 21st, 1941, as American literary critic, feminist, and writer on cultural and social issues. She is one of the founders of feminist literary criticism in U.S. academia, developing the concept and practice of gynocritics. She points out women as a reader and women as a writer. She put different phases of uh, leading feminism, different phases. She put up with these three phases. Feminine phase, which started in 1840 to 1880, in which writers imitated the dominant tradition. Second phase is feminist phase, which started in 1880 to 1920, in which women advocated rights and protested. Third is female phase, which started in 1910 onwards, in which the discovery of women's text and women. Over the decades, feminists have used the term feminist, female, and feminine in multiple different phases. Let me explain them one by one. The feminine phase we started in 1840 to 1880. It is among many feminists, it has been a long established usage to make feminine and masculine represent a social construct pattern of sexuality and behavior imposed by cultural social norms and to reverse female and male for the purely biological aspects of the sexual difference. Thus feminine represent nurture and female nature in this usage. Feminity is cultural construct. On one isn't born a woman, one becomes a semen the deborer puts it. Another phase is the feminist phase, which started in 1880 to 1920, 
women are historically enabled to reject the accommodating posture of femininity and use literature to dramatize the ordeals of wronged womanhood. This phase is characterized by Amazon Utopia vision of perfect female-led societies of the future. This phase was characterized by women's rights and values including a demand for autonomy. Feminists appropriating traditional thought explicitly discuss the assumptions and strategies of the material they want to use or transform. Third phase is the female phase started in 1920. Women reject both imitation and protest to two forms of dependency and turn instead to female experience as a source of an autonomous art extending the feminist analysis of culture to the forms and techniques of literature. A female tradition in literature or criticism is not necessarily a feminist one. To believe that common female experience in itself gives rise to feminist analysis of women's situation is to be at once politically naive and theoretically unaware. Men can be feministers but they cannot be women just as white skin be anti-racist but not black. In practice, the world would be male feminist critic or to ask herself, himself whether he as a male is really doing feminism a service in our present situation by muscling in on the one cultural and intellectual space of women have created for themselves, for themselves within his male-oriented discipline. Now, different uh, feminism history uh, in respect pro and perspective from history to her story, that means the story of the females. The history of modern Western feminist movement is divided into three waves. Each wave is described as dealing with different aspects of the same feminist issue. Feminists and scholars have divided the movement history into three waves. First wave Of feminism began in the late 19th century and early 20th century, focused mainly on the opening up various opportunities of women, especially right to vote, women's suffrage and property rights, concerns of first wave feminism, education, employment, reformation in marriage laws, and the plight of intelligent middle class women. The major works that raised the issue of feminism during this phase, including Mary Lillman's Thinking About Women, which was published in 1968, another is Kate Millett's Sexual Politics in 1969. Second wave of feminism starts in 1960 and 1970. It extends. It extends the pipe. It, the feminine mystique, Betty Friedan, argues women were unhappy because of the feminine mystique. She said this was damaging the ideal of femininity which called the happy wife and the mother giving up on work and education. Major concerns, sexual freedom, inclusion of women of color and women from the other cultures. It is more commonly also a gynocriticism. This stage is believed to have begun with the Ellen Shoulders, a literature of their own, Published in 1970. Third stage is the Rebecca Walker coined the term the third wave in 1992. The third widened the feminist movement and its ideals beyond middle class. White women addressing their different disadvantages women experience because of race, ethnicity, and class. Some argue that seeing the history of feminism in just three waves can ignore the fight for equal rights and the end of discrimination by women outside large feminist movement in UK and US including working class women black and ethnicity minority women. Third wave feminism also believe that there are no inherent differences between the sexes and content that general rules gender rules are due to social conditioning. Thank you for your patience.